Hey guys, in today's tutorial we will make a logo out of a letter of the letter A in Affinity Designer. So we will design an A monogram logo with Affinity Designer and we will design the logo you see right here. To start we need a new clean document in Affinity Designer and we just give it a um, clean white background so we can see our logo while designing and make it um, lock right here so it doesn't interrupt our process and we start by using the graphic text tool right here you can also click t on your keyboard and then select um, your um, document and type uh, big a and make it a little bit bigger and i'm using the font right here um, roboto which is from fonts.google.com so you can download it right there for free but keep in mind to read the license if you want to use it commercially and so on and we're using something medium for example medium or bold that's also up to you you could also use another letter so we need like i said roboto which is selected and medium and then we need our um, move tool right here you can also click v on your keyboard move it in the middle so have snapping activated and we are making it bigger so we are um, using this one to keep the um, the proportions um, the same and making height of 300 just to have it easier um, when designing and we're zooming in a little bit and first of all we are um, going to cut this a um, in two halves so we're creating a rectangle in the middle giving it um, deselecting this and giving a width of 10 pixels and moving this inside of the A. We also need to make this A um, a vector so we are clicking on these little arrows and clicking convert to curves and um, it could also be uh, on the top line immediately for you to see that's just for me with the arrows because my um, display isn't that big. So I have just a laptop, that's why I have to click on this little arrows. If I'm using a big display, it will already be displayed right here. And after that, we are selecting the rectangle and the curve. So we're holding down command if you're using Mac and control if you're hold, uh, using Windows. And we need to go to geometry and using divide. And what this does, it cuts our um, objects uh, in parts of what objects we've selected and always um, the top object is um, um, divided from the bottom object on the layer so that's important to keep in mind we can now select these ones we don't need anymore and delete so these both curves and we have our two paths of the A we can then select the left part or the right part whatever you want and clicking on A on our keyboard to select this node tool right here selecting both um, of these nodes and deleting them and now we have our um, um, standard layout for our monochrome letter now we need to cut it in three parts so we can make this cool effect with um, with the change in color getting darker and what we need to do now is we need to create some squares or rectangles and making them um, height of 100 pixels that's why we selected 300 pixels height for our um, monochrome logo we can rescale after we are finished so we're now giving them a little fill for example this crater tone and copy and paste with command c and command v um, for windows control c and control v and um, stacking them up so we have exactly um, three parts and now we are copying and pasting deselecting this and making the height 10 pixels to have the exact same um, um, cutout like we have right here and moving in between like here and copy paste and like here and we could also make it a little bit um, brighter so we can see it better for example like this and we now need to select them we need to move them to the right and now we can um, need a, um, an angle um, that fits our um, our um, um, letter so we can experiment with this so we can use minus 15 for example we see we need a little bit more maybe go to minus 19 and we see that's pretty good so first of all we're going back again and we're doing this to this side and doing it again with minus 19 
and now we have um, our both lines we can cut out we can delete this object and this and this square right here we can select both rectangles and the left side of our a and um, that is left and we want to divide again because we want to have these three objects um, um, as uh, objects on their own because you want to give them um, uh, different colors if you only wanted to cut it out but have one object we could use um, subtract right here and now we have to delete all the objects we don't need anymore so the curves right here and right here and we now have our three parts we can color and our right part of the A and now we are finished with the main uh, with the uh, main layout we can now adjust the colors and we can also adjust the uh, monogram to make it more specific to make it more our style if you want to i didn't do this with this one but you could as well so you could also select like um, these little um, parts of the um, monogram a logo and you could for example use no tool or the corner tool and make some um, 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 curves in it for example like this how you want it to make it more your style that's up to you you could also smooth all the edges by selecting all of them and then giving all some for example three pixels to make it look a little bit smoother and now you could select a color we are gonna select something different for this one maybe something orange something soft orange i have to Put this right here to see it something starting with something something soft then um, double click on the hex code copy select the next one and paste and as well for the top one paste and what we're now gonna do we select this curve first we go to effects and we go to not shadow we go to color overlay we choose black and we use for example 20 or 10 percent as um, you want and um, the also depending on the color as, as well for the top one we are using for example 30 and for this one we are using 15 percent and now we have our shades our um, same color in different shades we could also use it backwards by choosing the top color and then choosing shades of white so white overlay and use maybe making this just white right here and now the background we could use the same color we used right here in the top corner to have a dark color to better see it and use the um, um, opposite so making a white overlay um, so for white we can use the hex code six times f of for example 10 percent or 15 percent we're going with 10 and now we need to group all of them by um, holding down shift on the first one and holding down shift and clicking on the last one we can select all of them we can then um, press command g or a control g to have them in a group and then go to effects if you want to go to outer shadow 50 50 and for example 50 to the right and also black to have it pop out and now we can make it bigger a little bit we can select our logo make it bigger and adjust it to fit to the side and rescale as we want yeah that's gonna do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye